So about uh, scheduling. Okay. So how how am I how am I scheduling myself uh, teach program? Um, I started doing something like working hard. Uh, if you think of the week days and then Saturday and Sunday. Um, hold on, let me get my eraser. Thank you my paper uh, and I made the mistake of uh, working really hard in the mornings non-stop every single day uh, and then of course I do a little bit uh, lunch during work usually I, I work I have Friday afternoons off I work from home uh, and I'll do some here uh, very little here uh, and then some here and over time that just burned me out pretty bad in the first month. I did like 23 days, I counted, where I did some math every single day in uh, September of this year, September 2021, right? Uh, and that was bad. That was bad. And so I think the, the schedule that I've had for the last couple of weeks, which is really working out very well, and I can do my day job, and I can do everything right, is very little during the mornings, very little, before work. Uh, some during lunch, as I was doing before, not too much, but the bulk of the work late afternoon after work. Only during the weekdays, of course, Fridays, Friday afternoons, yes, for sure, but really the bulk of the work happens here, and nothing during the, the weekends. Maybe like a little bit on a Sunday night. But really use that weekday uh, after work. You say, well, you're already tired from work. Uh, yes, but I found that I am not a morning person, as I have been telling myself I was at all. That was a complete, I don't know where, why I, I invented that. Because through this course, self-teaching course, I have been able to determine that I am not a morning person. So what does the, the schedule look like that I think I can do? okay for the next two years okay and this is uh, the second half of 2021 uh, or really the semester that, that really September September to the end of 2021 this is all of 2022 and this is the beginning of 2023 so I think I can do calculus from the Thomas and Finney book uh, in three courses basically something like this uh, where this will be differentiation this will be integration and this will be partial derivatives and some uh, differential equations ordinary differential equations then the number theory book really even though it's a book that is taught normally during a single semester in undergraduate I plan to take two years to do that whole book why uh, a very simple principle called do it once do it right so I'm gonna take the number theory book the Rosen book and I have a separate video you can watch that has all the, the, the three books and I want to take it to chapter 7 right before crypt cryptography which is really applications uh, and do that for a whole year uh, I know for example cha chapter 3 which is on primes I'll probably take a month and a half to two months just on that chapter, okay, because I think primes is key to number theory. It's kind of like the heart of it, in my opinion. Uh, and then I'm going to do, beginning with cryptography, all the way here to the end of the book. And I plan to do the entire book, cover to cover. And I plan to work out most of the problems in the book, even if I don't get them right. Uh, and so, and then of course the proofs book, I, uh, have a second book that I haven't shown that is much harder. It's used at Urbana Champagne. And I'm going to take that book here. Okay? And so I'm going to have a proofs one, two, and three over the course of two years. So this right here is sort of like the end of February of 2022. And so that's my current plan. Uh, yeah, so three calculus courses, two uh, number theory courses, three proofs courses. The calculus book, all on Thomas and Finney, the uh, number theory book, single book, Rosen, 
uh, for number theory, what would normally, normally be a semester, I'm going to stretch it out to two years. And then the proofs, I'm going to do a baby proofs course, which is what I'm teaching myself now. And then I'm going to do a real proofs course. And I'm going to take a whole year on that, on that single book. Okay. Later, later, after this, I would like to do the, the, you know, the rest of the curriculum, of course. When you look further down the line, okay, when you're looking at your own curriculum. And again, one of the issues about teaching yourself is that you're your own teacher. It's very difficult. And so everything takes way longer than it should. But I have a day job, and I plan to have a day job, God willing, until 2029 or 2030. So I got to do it this way. I, uh, otherwise, I would have to wait for then. And I don't like to wait because you never know with your health as you get older and all that stuff. So really what you're talking about is geometry. And this is broad. You know, this includes uh, Riemann's uh, non-Euclidean non uh, geometry. So it includes everything. Topology, all that. Uh, then you would have uh, what normally is called algebra and of course for that you get started with linear algebra and then you go abstract algebra right and there's all kinds of things that you do in abstract algebra group theory all that stuff and then you would have your analysis okay and uh, really this is where differentiation integration uh, the Lebesgue integral all that stuff goes in and then you would have what I group uh, under number theory, which is really your discrete math, uh, graph theory, all that stuff. So that's all in there, and that's gonna that's gonna take me if my if this plan succeeds, many many years. Uh, so so I think the the logical order that I'm following is really. Uh, Go, go on one track for things that I am familiar with, okay? Uh, what would that be? That would be calculus uh, followed by linear algebra followed by differential equations. And of course, if you've ever taken a bunch of engineering courses as I did in my, in my 20s, um, all of engineering is really just a bunch of differential equations, really, really. Okay, and physics. Uh, so that kind of track will take me through the basics. And then, of course, I'm starting the second track is with proofs. Okay. And also with number theory. At some point, I would like to turn that into uh, discrete mathematics. Uh, and then proofs bifurcated into maybe some geometry, some basic geometry at some point uh, but then later really where it gets hard and I, I would like to do this over a two-year period as well but I it's just ma many years in the future but I'm just plotting out a long-term plan then it would be like just analysis and algebra just do that for a whole year that's really uh, where I want to go right now and, and we'll see how it goes I'm gonna be tracking it this will be my my video all these videos will be kind of my diary. This is my first month. So who knows how this whole thing will play out. But that's roughly where I want to go uh, scheduling-wise. Wish me luck.